Hello and welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. I'm coming to you today from Miami, Florida, where I'm spending a couple of days in the beautiful SAP office here in Miami, looking out over the Blue Lagoon area, which is right next to the airport. Uh, today, just as we begin, a few announcements before we get started with our demonstration today. And it is an important tip and trick. Uh, many users do not know how to take a copy, basically, of their production database and restore it to a test database so that they can work with up-to-date information as they're testing the system or creating new reports or writing new queries, whatever it is, before they move them back to their production database. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll go over it a couple of times so there's no mystery about it. And even if you're not the person who uh, has authorizations to do this, when you ask your system administrator to make you a fresh copy, you will know that you're not asking for them to uh, perform any sort of miracle and that it doesn't take that much time. So uh, you'll know how to uh, manage expectations about how long it ought to take to get this accomplished. So as I mentioned, the little demonstration and uh, session we're going to go through today is about how to back up and restore your production database to refresh your test database. And I'm going to be using uh, Microsoft SQL 2012. This procedure might be just a little bit different in earlier versions of, um, and I should re refresh that, I just upgraded. So I'm going to be actually be showing you Microsoft SQL version uh, 2014. This process could be a little different in 2012, 2008, or even earlier versions, but very similar in the way you uh, perform this activity. So with that in mind, uh, let me switch over to uh, Microsoft SQL. Now I have it uh, open already. Now, you do need to be a system administrator in Microsoft SQL in order to do this. Uh, and there are other ways to do this. Uh, there are some uh, things that are done in the remote um, support desktop. And there are some things today that are available in the system landscape directory that may give you alternate ways to perform a backup and restore. This is the traditional method that we have done it uh, for probably the last 12 years in SAP Business One databases that run on Microsoft SQL. So once I open Microsoft SQL Server, um, I have my uh, databases here. And so I want to expand the databases 